Hey, this is Joelle Anderson, midfielder on Bay FC, and we're watching Barrier Sports Wrap. Welcome to Bay Area Sports Wrap. I'm Marko Ikalovic, and we're continuing our Bay FC player profiles. And this week we have Joel Anderson, who is a local product here out of San Jose. And Joel, welcome to Barry Sports Wrap. How are you? Thank you. Good. How are you? Nice I'm doing well. Yeah. yeah. And I like it. You're wearing the Giants as a t shirt, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. So let's talk about the, the last game racing Louisville. You guys go there and get another clean slate and clean slate, excuse me, yeah. with a one nothing victory and the penalty kick. Uh, just talk about the environment. I know it was probably so hot, so humid. Like, what's it like playing in something like that? Obviously, it's not easy to go there and play in that type of environment. But I'm just so proud of how we responded and just got out of there with three points. Obviously, it was hard for everyone to play in that. So I'm just really proud of how we got out of there with a win. And when you look forward now to this game coming up against uh, Washington, and you know they got a lot of scoring power on that team. You know Trinity is is one of their big players. You know uh, uh, Chloe Ricketts, and she's, she was the youngest player to score a goal in, in WSL history. Uh, you know they got Sar, who's their leading goal scorer. She's got six on the year. So how tough is it going to be to try to? St stop them while you guys do your own thing with the high press and attack style that Albertine likes to do. Yeah, obviously, yeah, you got to pay attention to the firepower that they have and try to mitigate it as much as possible. Obviously, our game plan is just to try to stop them from scoring, but just also, like you said, do our thing and do it the best of our ability. Keep the ball, high press, make sure that we have the ball for the majority of the time. They do most of the defending, so we're just really trying to focus on that. And so when did you get interested in soccer? Like, at what age were you like uh, you know getting into it and wanting to be a soccer player yeah I started when I was five years old my parents always said I had way too much energy as a child so soccer was just the best way for me to get out all my energy and it just stuck with me yeah okay and it's funny so being from San Jose yeah. you went to Harker Academy and you're on the Deans of Force now my cameraman who's here her his daughter was actually just joined the Deans of Force oh, so yeah. what, what would you give as far as uh, advice to yeah. up and young coming uh, players who looking to advance their their career and as far as uh, getting into like, like a good high school program and then yeah. eventually college and then hopefully to the NWSL. Yeah, like for me, I was very fortunate to be a part of a really good club team. I think that was what really sprung me into like going to a good college and eventually playing pro. So I think just finding a really solid club team and a coach that believes in you and really wants to see you succeed and get you to that next level and so I think yeah just obviously have fun with it that's the first thing if you don't enjoy it and like you're not willing to make those sacrifices it's not going to be worth it so I think yeah just keeping at it and just find a really good support system with teammates and coaches that believe in you yeah All right. making those sacrifices is very key okay <laughs> She knows who I'm talking to. So. <laughs> and you, know, you get drafted by Houston. And so what was it like playing over there for the first couple of years uh, coming out of college? Yeah, obviously great, great opportunity to, just to start my pro career and just surround by really good people, teammates and coaches who really taught me a lot about the pro game and what it was like to play at that level. Obviously the heat over there, not ideal. So coming back to the Bay Area, it was just amazing, just the weather and everything. But obviously, yeah, great opportunity for me to start my pro career career great and when you found out that you know the baby was getting a team and they were going to play here were you excited that hoping that you were to get chosen in the expansion draft yeah when i saw they were i mean obviously it's been a long time coming for the bay area to get a professional women's sports team but when i found out that news i'm like oh that would be so cool to play for them like what if what if and so for the fact that it even happened it's just like a dream come true all right so yeah. when you found out you you got traded here yeah. you know what was the emotions like knowing you're coming back home it was just so over i was at home at the time with my family and i think we were just all overwhelmed we're like is this actually happening am i able to like go back home and play in front of family and friends and everyone it was just it was a dream come true it was like probably took me a week or two to actually believe that it was real <laughs> and it was happening <laughs> and growing up you know when you're playing on the answer force and even in high school at harker did, yeah. could you ever imagine back then that the san jose would have a team and he was here in the south bay and that you would be playing on it i was hoping yeah one day eventually that it would come back to the bay area but really wasn't thinking at the time that it wouldn't happen for a really long time and so just the fact that it's now happening is just like unreal because I didn't even think 
back then that it would happen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And now for your teammates who aren't from this area and even the ones from Southern California don't know the Bay Area too well, yeah. have they been all relying on you like, hey, Joe, what are we going to eat? What are we? Hair, hairdressers, where to get food, <laughs> everything, every recommendation. I'm like, I got you guys. I know where to go. <laughs> yeah. You like take like taking on that kind of responsibility. Yeah, it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. I want to make sure they have the best experience in the Bay Area because it's amazing. It's an amazing place to be. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. And do you have any favorite like places here where you like to eat or any place you like oh, to go? I think one of my favorites is Los Gatos Cafe for breakfast. That's one of my favorite spots to go to for sure yeah nice yeah all right off the pitch what does joelle anderson like to do for fun <laughs> i enjoy being outside so i just like i think we've been playing pickleball a little bit more you know hiking going to the beach watching the sunset just being active and outdoors as much as possible i like a lot yeah nice yeah. and when you talk about the beach i was just down in monterey yesterday escaping yeah. the heat yeah sorry you guys had a practice with that. but where, 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 which one do you prefer do you like going like santa cruz carmel I, like monterey i love them all santa okay. cruz carmel i've gone up to pacifica a little bit just okay. like exploring the whole coast is just beautiful so okay. lots of fun you guys are, are in a playoff spot right now yeah. and you can actually can jump ahead of a team if you guys get some three if you get three points on saturday what do you have, have a message for the fans about coming in this weekend and what to expect oh yeah just come out and support us i mean we've heard you guys all season long we appreciate all the support they've given us it's just been amazing to see how many people show up just keep doing it because this team hears you and we just appreciate all the support we've been given yeah, she is midfielder Joy Anderson of Bay FC. Look for them this Saturday uh, at 7 o'clock against Washington Spirit. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, it's Sharks Public Address announcer Danny Miller for Bay Area Sports Wrap. Remember to give us a like and subscribe on our YouTube channel.